Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and welcome to Buck CC. This is my Creator Club Level 10 to the Prem save, where we take Buck CC from Level 10 all the way to the Prem. Now we're in the Vanarama National and in this episode, which is episode number 11, we are going for promotion from the Vanarama National into the Sky Bet League 2. So let's see if we can beat Maidstone and win the championship. So here we are, it's April, it's the business end of the season, it's 2027, and as you can see here, Buck CC sitting first in the table as we have the entirety of this season. 35 games played, 67 is our goal difference, and 94 points. Let's go into the league table and just check it out. 30 games won, four drawn, one loss, and that came as a 3-0 defeat against Gloucester, who are sitting sixth, who scored 95 goals, and as you can see here, 28 goals conceded. Let's quickly go into the tactics. As you can see here, 4-2-4, four, four. we've got Tolaj and Ennis as the two forwards, Ray and Clark as the inside for, um, forward, Afoka on the right-hand side, Bidstrup and Pozzo are the pairing in centre midfield, Chaibi and Mark Molyneux are the two centre-backs, with Sodi on the right and Keizu on the left. Now, as you'll see here, there is no Ola, no Ola Okuo. We sold him, I think it's for a club record fee, for raising up to £73,000. Here he is. Off he went to Sunderland. We couldn't really deny him a transfer into uh, Sunderland's teams. And again, £70,000 for us is great. Let's go into the profile of the league table just to see how we're dominating the stats. Laurent Tolage on 22 goals. The average rating is dominated in the top three with Buxy C players and Slavi Spazov with 18 league assists. So let's look at the lad, Laurent Tolage. He's come into Buxy C after being released. 22 league goals in 23 appearances, only five assists, but nine player of the match awards. And for this level in the Vanarama National, he is a four and a half, solid four and a half star, um, star player and is just an excellent player for us, as, as you can see here. Looking at his career stats, he hasn't ever really been given a chance, but in the Vanarama National, he has uh, put his shooting boots on and fired us into top place. Let's go into our schedule, as you can see here, so much green. We've won, I think, nine games on the bounce. And as you can see, just a, a draw here from Gateshead, who we previously drew with as well at the start of the season. They've had our number this year. So in this episode, we're going to look against uh, Maidenhead away from home. And I believe if we win this game, it will mean that we go up as champions. If we look here, Ray and Class is asking for a rest, as is Mark Molyneux. But we are, we are not going to give him a rest. We brought in some young lads. We had our youth intake and the youth intake wasn't great, but let's introduce you to a few of the boys that we might give a go. Here is a Ugandan in Owsbury, crazy stuff, but a 15 year old Ugandan, Ivan Mayanja, and we're gonna give him a face if he lasts through the end of the season. We've got over here, Weatherstone, Luca Weatherstone, at 15 years old, can play right and left side. Not much really to speak about other than his bravery. Tom Hallard, let's check in with him. Tom has been given a face, a beautiful young man. If we have a look, as you can see here, he's got two league goals, but 31 across the non-competitive games that either the under 23s or the under 18s have played. So let's look at his career stats. He's doing okay, considering he has nothing really desirable about him other than maybe he's got a bit of pace and a bit of flair. But outside of that, finishing of four, not ideal as a forward. Anyway, so let's get stuck into our, one of the last games of the season. Niall Ennis and uh, Tolage are going for the top goal scorer uh, championship here. They both got 25 goals apiece and Maidenhead hopefully won't prove to be too difficult as we try and win the championship.
So one of the most challenging things here as without having too many players is the ability to rotate and keep a healthy starting 11, but also have a good enough starting 11 that you can still win. The boys are tired at this end of the year and that's when we've had to bring in some of the youth players just to top us up. Tolaj just dropping off deep there, picking up the ball. Jeremy, oh, that's a great ball from Jeremy to the back post and Afaka there comes in and puts us 1-0 up, 10 minutes in. What a ball that is from the left back. Tolaj just holding it up, laying it off. Jeremy, first time ball curled into the back post and Ofarka there puts us 1-0 up. So great start for Bucks. Molyneux here is just an aggressive man. He gets booked pretty much every game and every time you look at his face, he's always got this aggressive face on every single time. Bidstrup, ball in, headed clear. And now Maidstone are, Maidstone are breaking down the right. Chaibi clipped it into Ennis and it's laid it in to Tolage. And that's a wonderful recovering tackle by the defender. Sodi down into Ofaka. We've got to get the ball into the box. Pozzo lays it across. Ray and Clark has got to do better there. But it was with his right foot. Now, interestingly, in the week, I listened to the podcast, the FM podcast through The Athletic. And they had someone on from Football Manager who was talking about in the next patch, they're going to look at the ability of long throws. Now, long throws has been one of the things, oh, good save by the keeper. Long throws has been one of those tactics, along with near post corners, that has just kind of not really been addressed by football manager. It was kind of a thing in FM20 with the long throws, you could take advantage of it. And I think in the patch, what they're gonna do, I mean, I don't work for football manager, but what I assume they're gonna do is if somebody has got like a four rating or a five rating on long throws, they should not have the ability to launch the ball into the box. I have both my fullbacks taking the throw-ins, which allows me to have more of my attacking players in and around the six and the 18 yard box. So the fact that Jeremy Kezu takes a long throw-in when his long throwing rating is probably four or five, it, it seems a, a thing that football managers should address. And that is a great ball into NS Gorn finish. Cheeky, cheekiness. A tiny little dinker over the goalkeeper. And that is now, as you can see, 23 games without defeat so far. Bidstrup with the long ball over the top. Niall Ennis in behind. And it's just a little clip. Good finish by Niall Ennis. 2-0 up to the Bucks. And everything is going very well indeed. Now, as you know, if we finish first in the Vanarama National, it guarantees us promotion to the Skybet League 2. Good link-up play there by Ennis and Tolaj. And Tolaj, just very easy. That's his 26th goal of the season. As I was saying, winning the Vanarama National puts you into the Skybet League 2. We're not a professional club right now, so I'm hoping that in the off-season we will become a professional club. And it would have been our sixth promotion in seven years which is a pretty impressive kind of run especially every year building a new team here's Barney Sodi with another long throw goalkeeper Harvey goes up and claims it yeah if you haven't had a chance to listen to that podcast done by the FM uh, Athletic it's great it really is um I like how they're talking about this German Bundesliga save and they have somebody on from Football Manager to talk about the inner parts of the game. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, so give it a give it a listen. Coming up to half time here and it's Bucks EC3, 3-0 up. 
looking very comfortable, although both my centre backs are on yellow cards and we might need to address that at half time. Ooh, Dominique Doumba gets a goal. A memorable moment as he scores his first goal. Of course, it's against us. So anyway, 3-1 at half time. And a couple of little things we're going to do here with our tactics is we're just going to tell Tom Chayibi just to ease off the tackles. We don't want him to get another book in. Now, Mark Molyneux, as a no-nonsense centre-back, cannot have that part of his game changed. So we're going to switch him over to just a general centre back and we've got ease of tackles as well. Both of our centre midfielders are also carrying yellow cards so let's tell Pozzo here let's tell Pozzo to just go on to central midfield role and we're going to tell him to just ease off the tackles so we'll Mads Bistrup. And let's see here. Let's go back into the dressing room and get back out there. We are going to throw in some of our young lads as well. Here we go. Pozzo with the corner. Tom Chaibi heading over the bar. Let's put Tom Hallard up front. And we'll take Molyneux off and put in the young 15-year-old Ugandan who somehow found his way into Ellsbury, Mayanja. Back to Xander Park. We haven't really mentioned our goalkeeper in this save so far, Xander Park. He's actually done okay. Good tackle by Barney Sodi. Clears the ball into Niall Ennis and he is broken away. And that is just a class goal. 27th goal of the season. Great play by Barney Sodi to win the ball. Plays it into Ennis who turns and takes on his man from inside his own half. That's a wonderful individual goal by Niall Ennis. 27th of the season. Who else have we got on the bench here that we can bring on? Let's bring on the young fullback for Jeremy Kezu, Luca Weatherstone, little 15 year old, give him some minutes. Since though we're four one up with around about 30 minutes to go in the game. So it should be said as well, one of the things that has been really cool by putting out content on YouTube has been just connecting with the community. So shout out to Mr. Rigby, who's been a consistent viewer of the YouTube channel and leaving comments. Really welcome the comments. I like having a dialogue with other people that play Football Manager and uh, continue to want to hear from more people. But Rigby, thank you for watching and um, Dedicating this win to you, buddy. 5-1, Niall Ennis with another goal. Look at Ray and Clark in that inside forward. Pozzo just laying it into Ofarka, who slips it inside. Niall Ennis, first time finish with the left foot, and that puts us to 5-1 up. And let's go and have a little look at this league table, see where we're up. This puts it, would put us on 97 points. An incredible 24 points ahead of second place. Luca Weatherstone headed the ball clear there. And now we're breaking again. Niall Ennis for his hat-trick if he can. Oh, good save, good save, denying him. Denying him the third goal. and. The commentators are right. This is the Niall Ennis show. He is putting a show on for the crowd today. Good 
Good headed clearance there by Tom Chaibi. What are Maidstone thinking about here? Trying to get a goal back? Xander Park with the ball. Big long clearance. Let's see their defence miss it. Oh, he's headed it clear. This is the longest highlight. Xander Park making two saves. One of the other things that was really interesting to listen to on one of the FM podcasts from The Athletic was about set pieces. Now, if you've managed to, if you've managed to be able to do all of the set piece variations, you get this little icon as an achievement, which of course I've done. I've spent an entire Sunday going through direct free kicks or like indirect free kicks. Niall Ennis will take the penalty. No, let's change the player. We want to give, let's give Ivan Manjana his first opportunity to score a penalty. The 15-year-old Ugandan, here we go. Can he score from a penalty? Come on, Ivan. He has. <laughs> he has smashed it down the middle. 15-year-old Ivan Manjanja has scored what what a what a great penalty i'm not really sure how ugandan has found himself in Aylesbury, but he is in our starting lineup now and has scored to make the bucks six one up here as i believe we might win the title in this game 92nd minute we're waiting the referee to blow the whistle And it is <laughs> goals galore. It is 6 2. 6 2 to Buck CC. And there we go. We have won the Vanarama National Championship. Look at the boys getting onto the, uh, I guess, the trophy celebration. Handshakes all round by the captain Pozzo. Handing over the trophy. And what a moment for Buck CC. Champions of the Vanarama National. And we are going into the Skybet League 2. Well, congratulations, boys. Take your lap of honour. Pozzo, what a captain he's been. And how fitting it is for our youth academy, Ivan Manjanya to come through and score a winning penalty in the 94th minute or 91st minute. Shout out to Niall Ennis there with a 9.6 rating. He actually did score a hat-trick. I don't know what I was banging on about in that video, saying he hadn't scored a hat-trick yet. He'd already scored a hat-trick. Well, there we go. What an episode. We have just won the Vanarama National. Promotion to Skybet League 2 awaits and the next episode will be at the start of next season. We'll finish out the rest of this table. Hopefully we'll get over 100 points. But what a great, what a great victory for us. Again, thank you so much for watching this episode. Been such a pleasure been showing Buck CC kind of going up through the leagues. Next year we are a league team, so we will hopefully be a professional club. Again, Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Give us a like if you liked the video. And shout out to our regular visitors. You've seen our team come up through the leagues and promotion has been guaranteed to Skybet League 2. Thank you.